Hey, welcome to another session of the ATU Library Tutorial Series. In this tutorial, we are just going to take you through how you can install the Mendeley Desktop so that you can use it for your citations and references. Already we've treated some basic concepts or some concept of um, referencing and citations, general overview, and up to the seventh edition of the APA. Um, at this point, we want to take you through how you can install this software to automate your citations and that of your references for you. So you open any browser of your choice, then you click or you type. So we have the download mailing desktop over here. So we click on it and we click on this one. That is the download mailing desktop software. And if you are using Windows operating system, you download that for Windows. If you are using a laptop that has um, Apple's operating system on it, so you download that for Mac OS. If your machine is running or if it has a Linux operating system, you also click that for main desktop for Linux. And we are downloading that for Windows. So you could see the a progress for the download. And with a fast internet connection, I think mainly it takes just some few seconds to complete a download. So we show our downloads and we have Mendeley downloaded successfully. We start with the installation. We click on next. Next, I agree. Next, install. finish. Once you are done with the installation, there is a welcome message from Mendeley. You have to enter your email address and password, but it's unfortunate um, we've not yet registered with Mendeley, so we have to register. And so this is what you see. So you have to enter an email address over here. So already um, I have an email address over here signed in and we don't, we are creating a new user. So we can click on sign in with a different account. So we enter a valid email address over here. So we click on continue. You give a name. You also give a send name over here. You enter a password and your password should have at least one number, a lowercase, uppercase, and should not be less than eight characters. So we create one. Click on register and we're done. Hit on continue. And what you see over here is Mendeley Web. But however, we will not be delving deep into the Mendeley Web. That will be covered in our in our subsequent tutorials. And you can do a lot when it comes to the Mendeley Web. Once we are done, we go back to our Mendeley desktop. We enter our email address that we use for the registration processes. We enter the password. And once the email address and the password is valid. Automatically, you are now logged into Mendeley. 
Mendeley is telling you that the reference manager is now installed. However, because Mendeley will be working with Microsoft Web, you need eight plugin um, so that Mendeley can use the plugin to do the citation and the references for you. Uh, Mendeley is trying to tell us that the, that plugin is not actually installed. So we proceed and click on install now. Now we have the plugin being installed in Microsoft Word automatically. Make sure that when you are installing this plugin, your Microsoft Word is not open or active. If it's active, make sure that you close it. Otherwise, there will be conflict and Mendeley will be forced to close the Microsoft Word before it can complete its installation. So we're done, we close it. What you are seeing over here is just telling you some information of Mendeley software. You can ignore and hit the close. So we have the software now installed. And in our subsequent tutorials, we'll be taking you through this particular workspace. What you see over here, I call it my workspace because this side will have your articles, your books, any material that you want to use for your thesis that you will be acknowledging, you'll be citing all this information or all these materials will be done over here. This side will contain some information that you need for your references. Um, this side will also, you see some of the author's names over here. There are a lot that will be covered. Uh, basically in this tutorial, uh, we are just taking you through how you can install Mendeley desktop and how you can also install it plugin. At this point, um, we thank you all for joining this particular tutorial. And in our next tutorial series, we'll be pushing in some articles over here. We'll be going through um, different reference styles. Actually, when it comes to referencing an article, referencing a book, uh, referencing a book chapter using the Mendeley software and so forth, how you can create a folder in Mendeley software. So we encourage you to subscribe to our channel and follow us in our next tutorial series. Thank you.